Welcome to a super quick edition of Jesse Makes. So I'm a Bosch fan. I have a lot of Bosch tools. Uh, they used to have a 10.8 volt series and then they came out with a 12 volt series. Now we're not talking about the big 18 volt series. Obviously this is the smaller tool line. Uh, but when they made that switch, a lot of confusion ensued. Are the tools compatible? Are the batteries compatible and the chargers compatible, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I actually own a lot of these tools obviously and I was also confused. Now Bosch did release a page explaining that everything's compatible between all of those things. Um, that is true. Just cut to the chase, totally true. Not only are they compatible, they are exactly the same. So today we're just going to take a look at some of the batteries and chargers and test out the voltages and prove to ourselves that it is actually the same. In order to do that, we have uh, in the background here a charger that came with my 10.8 volt tools. This is a good six years old. The charger that came with my 12 volt tools and I have two 10.8 volt batteries and two 12 volt batteries. What we're gonna do is we fully charge the 10.8 and 12 volt batteries. So take them out of the chargers here. And you can see in our lineup, we have the two fully charged batteries, one that's labeled 10.8 volts and one that's labeled 12 volts. And I've actually taken both of these batteries, the 10.8 and a 12, and fully discharged them. Now, when you discharge lithium batteries, they don't actually go to zero volts because you'll never get them back again. It's really bad for the battery chemistry. But the batteries or the tools always have a protection in them. It won't let it go below a certain amount. So I've drained it to the, fa to the level where the tool won't run anymore, won't do anything, and that's what these two batteries are. So we're gonna cut to a close up, and I have a little jig here with a Fluke multimeter and a little um, part I took out of an old tool where you can shove the battery down and test the voltage. And we're gonna write the voltages here and see, in fact, whether the voltages are different. So let's do that. Okay, so we have our Fluke multimeter set to DC. Let's just start over here. The 12 volt label battery charged. Let's see what we get. Okay, 12.57, we're just gonna label that 12.5, close enough. Now we're gonna take the 10.8 volt label battery that's also been fully charged and put that in there. 12.2. I would call those basically 12 volt batteries. Obviously the 12.2 is not quite as high, but keep in mind these batteries are probably six years old and I've beaten them to death. Um, these ones are much newer and that's pretty much the same. Clearly these are not 10.8 volt batteries. Now let's charge the try the discharge because you might have the question, ah, but maybe the 10.8 goes lower when it's discharged or doesn't hold as much, something like that. So once again, let's try a fully discharged 12 volt battery. We're well, getting like 9.2. And now let's try the 10.8 volt discharged. 9.4. So again, there's going to be differences. These batteries are older um, and worn down, but basically these batteries are all uh, capable of carrying the same amount of charge. So the only thing I'll wrap up with is why did they do this? What happened? Um, you don't get to just make up random voltages when you're making lithium tools. All lithium tools use the same um, style of cylindrical lithium cell. Can't remember the number for it. Someone will post in the comments, but they're all cylindrical um, and they're all roughly 3.6, 3.7 volts when fully charged. So it's pretty easy to calculate how much voltage something should, should hold. These batteries, you can actually see, have a triangular kind of pattern. There's three cells in it, one, two, three. If you were to look at the battery pack from an 18 volt Bosch, it's pretty easy to see. In here, there's one, two, three, four, five cells easy to figure out. So if you calculate, if you multiply 3.6 volts times three, you do get 10.8. Bosch was actually be, being pretty honest when they came out with this system that it's a 10.8 um, system. Um, what they meant was it's essentially that amount of power on average. A charged battery while it's running can hold uh, roughly 10.8 volts. The peak voltage you'll ever get from it is 12 something. So what happened, to my understanding, is that they came out with this 10.8 set. Other manufacturers started calling the same three cell systems 12 volt, and then Bosch was left looking bad because they had 10.8 compared to 12, so they just relabeled everything. But all the tools, the chargers, the batteries are all the same. Uh, this is not sponsored by Bosch. I get no uh, free tools from them or anything. Just wanted to clear that up in case anybody's doing a search. Join us next time.